Section 10.10, .10, Musical Sounds. So if you speak and record the voice or record the wave pattern of your voice, it'll be extremely complex. All sorts of different peaks and valleys, spikes all over the place. It's because your voice contains a series of many overlapping waves with different types of frequencies. As you speak, you say and use different frequencies when your voice is made. Different people have different voice boxes that generate different sounds as they speak. This is why men sound different from women, for example. However, if you record a single musical note from some instrument, that wave pattern will be very simple and consistent. If you just hit one key on a piano, you hear one wave pattern of one consistent wave. Musical instruments use the properties of sound waves to generate music. They use the properties of standing waves that we talked about a few sections ago to generate standing waves of air or to generate waves on strings. For example, a guitar uses waves of different lengths to generate different frequencies. By putting your finger in a different point on the frets of the guitar, you change the length of the string and therefore you change the frequency. As you shorten the string, the frequency increases. In general, in a classical sense, musical notes are determined by a particular frequency, and this is shared across all instruments. And generally, this frequency is where they set the A note on a musical instrument to be equal to 440 hertz. Each higher note of the same name, so each other A, is some multiple of this frequency. You do see other styles of music all over the world. But in general, musicians stick to the A being 440 hertz, and they use that to base the rest of their musical notes off of that one.